Hey guys, it's Paolo here from Autodesk. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new 4-axis automatic collision avoidance option that we've just implemented with Infusion 360's rotary toolpath. This functionality will detect any potential collisions between the tool shaft and holder and the component and will automatically select the most suitable direction in which to tilt the tool to avoid them. If we look at the part on my screen, I've got three rotary toolpaths, all calculated with a 0.8mm step over and the style set to spiral. For the first one, I have not ticked the collision avoidance checkbox in the multi-axis tab. When I simulate, it's easy to spot multiple collisions between the part and the tool holder. That's obviously something we need to change. In the second toolpath, in the tool tab, I ticked the shaft and holder checkbox with the mode set to trimmed. After calculating, I can immediately notice that, while we have no collisions, my toolpath does not machine the entire component, as the colliding segments have simply been removed. This is an improvement, but obviously not the best solution to our problem. Finally, in the last toolpath, I have ticked the collision avoidance checkbox, leaving the smoothing distance as the default value, calculated using the tool diameter as a reference. As you can see when I simulate, I get no collisions and the strategy correctly machines the entirety of the component. My tool tilts in the correct direction, maintaining the 4-axis constraint, avoiding any potential issues and preventing any jerky motion of my rotary axis. Surely this is better, right? Hopefully this video has been useful to understand this new functionality. Subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to let us know what you think of this improvement.